Hey everyone, it's Megan, and today I'm on the boiler room deck at the Holly Silk Mill with local artist Jeff George. So Jeff is going to tell us a little bit about everything he's done and his relationship with Settlers Hospitality and just about Jeff. So tell me, how long have you been with this partnership with Settlers Hospitality and just a little bit about you? Sure. I'm not, I'm not sure what year we started uh, working together. Uh, I know it's 20 plus years. I uh, uh, met with Jeannie and Grant Genslinger to do a, um, the artwork for the Settlers menu. Uh, just a black and white border around the outside of um, herbs because um, they were featuring local things and fresh made and all that kind of thing. <laughs> um, and then it just sort of snowballed for there, from there. It was one project after the next. The silk mill came up, the cocoon came up, mm -hmm. ledges, glass. Yeah. Um, not too long ago, five years ago or so, it was silver birches. And then recently it was the retreat. We, we mm -hmm. did logos for all those properties and menu ideas and sign ideas and sculptures and logos for hats and adjustments on logos for shirts. <laughs> and uh, it's just been a fun thing, you know, it's, it seems like over the last 20 years, it's always on my list. There's mm -hmm. always a project that has to be fit in for Settlers Hospitality. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. you see your your art, and I'm a big fan, so I, you know, I'm an artist too. So I see your your art and logos and just everywhere around here, Honesdale, and it's just really amazing oh, to see nice. all these different aspects come together. Yeah. Well, my grandfather used to say, I'm blessed with work. <laughs> and so now I say that, yeah, you know, because, you know, it's, it's great. You know, my phone is always sort of ringing and there's always a list of, <laughs> that's a good thing. Of fun projects. <laughs> yeah. The sculptures or logo designs for people or mm -hmm. a mural design or a building painting or, or something. So, yeah. Yeah. It's so. crazy. And then you have this wild coloring book and this is your first coloring book, right? This is my first coloring book, yeah. Right. I, I mean, I've designed books for other people. Mm -hmm. You know, I have a history with highlights for children, designing books for them. Nice. Um, but this is the first one I did of my own artwork. Um, you know, I worked together with uh, Nate down at Spencer's Printery. Mm -hmm. um, during the whole lockdown of pandemic, we had talked about some projects like this a couple years ago. We made a list, you know, but that was one of those things over lunch where nothing really happened until it had to happen yeah. and then with the lockdown you know Nate gave me a call one day and said hey look, why don't we do one of those coloring books see what you have you know mm -hmm. so um I didn't get to it for a week and then Nate called me again and he's like hey how's that coming and I'm like <laughs> not top of my list yet but <laughs> but then once I started working on it and looking through you know sketchbooks I had and pulling images together I got excited about it because it was like, oh, that'd be fun for kids to color and mm -hmm. this would be fun and this would work and that won't work or, or that'll work for a Halloween coloring book. So then I started a pile for a Halloween coloring book just Ooh. in case. Yeah, no, that'd know, be really cool. Road. Yeah. So. So when you're sketching or just thinking like what goes through your mind? Because I see like a tentacle here. I see a locking key. Like it, what goes through your mind when you're sketching? I need to know. Um, well, sometimes I'm inspired by my surroundings. You mm -hmm. know, like I take a sketchbook wherever I go. So I have one in my car. You know, I have a whole closet at home full of sketchbooks, believe it or not. <laughs> and so I always have a sketchbook with me. And, you know, if I'm on vacation... You know, if you're sitting on the beach, there's a lot of people reading a novel. That would not be me. I'm not a <laughs> novel reader, but I'll pull out my sketchbook and, you know, I'm inspired by what's around me or an idea I've had or, or sometimes I just store ideas, you know, mm -hmm. in my head of things I've seen or things I want to try. And then I try them. And So your coloring book is called Berm. Why don't you tell me why it's called Berm? Well, I think... For two reasons. I, I think we've all sort of felt over the course of this last year that um, we we're a little off track, mm -hmm. um, not quite on the road all the time um, with the virus and all that. Mm -hmm. um, I personally 
find myself just off the road quite a bit. I mean, that's a creative spot to be either looking for sculpture pieces mm -hmm. or or looking for ideas. It's 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 sort of not on everybody's path that you find those really kind of creative ideas. So mm -hmm. I've always been and I'm not a wordsmith, so big words mm -hmm. kind of throw me off. So <laughs> a four letter word like this seems to be right on. Yeah. Know, Easy. Me. Yeah. Easy to remember. Easy, kind of catchy and Oh, and yeah. also draws people in. They're wondering what it is. Why would a book be called Berm? You know. Yeah. So the proceeds of every sale, or is it going to charity? How is that working? Yeah, we're gonna take some proceeds from all the sales and um, put it towards some local charities. We haven't really defined them yet. We're looking at a couple right now. But mm -hmm. right now, with the pandemic again, it's going to be more like. Um, crisis giving almost things that pop up that people there's some there's needs that just come up for Absolutely. people in areas uh, that need either food or or whatever mm -hmm. so we're defining that i think over the course of this week actually what some charities we're going to be sending to so. great so we have that event dinner with the artist at the settlers we inn sure do september 11th right That'll and of course fun, you'll huh? be here i'll be there <laughs> at grant's woods yep yeah. Yeah, it's going to be great, and yeah. we're going to have a dinner, yep. and we're going to have your signed copy of the coloring book. Yep, everybody's going to get a coloring book. I'm excited. I I don't know. I just love your coloring book, so oh, it's going to be, going to be great. I'm excited because I really like their food. So. <laughs> I'm a food guy. So. Oh, yeah, I'm yeah, a food yeah, person, yeah. yeah me too, so. I love their food. Farm yeah. to table, it's going to be yeah. going to be great, and a signature yeah. cocktail in Grants Woods. Yeah. I mean, yeah. And, you know, I'm honored. You know, I said to Justin when he first brought it up, I'm like, this isn't a novel. This isn't a call the cut book. This yeah. is just like a coloring book. And he's like, yeah, but I think it's an important thing to do. So, no, yeah. yeah it's, so I'm honored. It's unique honored. and yeah. it's not something you see every day from an original artist. Yeah. You know, this is so unique to one person. Yeah. That's why yeah. I like it. But thank you so much, Chef. This was an honor oh. to have you here and do this oh. video and... It's going to be a great event, September oh, 11th. I was, I was happy to come down, and uh, um, what a great day to be outside. Yeah, it's know? beautiful. So, yeah. All right, yeah. thank you so much. Thank you. We'll see you guys next time at the Settlers Inn or September 11th. September 11th. Dinner with the Artist. See you guys later.